Some people want to take one computer and split it to multiple displays and other people want to be able to extend it out to multiple monitors. Well, today I have a solution for you. I'm going to show you these two adapters that's going to show you the differences between splitting a signal and extending a signal. The first thing I want to show you is this adapter and this is from O-Ray. This is what they call a four by one HDMI splitter. And this adapter is going to allow you to take a single source and split it amongst multiple monitors. In fact, this one will support up to four different monitors. Now it does come with an instruction book and keep in mind this supports up to 18 gigabytes per second and it does come with a power cord. And this is ideal for someone who has a sports bar or they want to display the same signal on multiple TVs. But let's take a closer look at the back of it. First of all, you can have a power cord input. You can have your input from your source. And then this is going to go out to four different televisions or monitors. On the front of it, there's a power indicator. There's also an input. And this is going to tell you all the different monitors that are connected to it. Plus, there's a service for updating. And there's this little switch right here called EDID which is gonna allow you to make sure that all the monitors are adjusted. And this is what they call a split extend USB 3.0 quad HDMI display. And the great thing about this one is that you can take a single USB output from your laptop and extend it up to four monitors. And the great thing is it's gonna allow you to display separate screens on all of them. Now let's go ahead and open this up. And in the box, you can see it comes with instruction manual. And this will kind of go over all the different uh, capabilities of it. And then we have the unit itself. Now here's a closer look at it. And it has these little indicators that shows your different monitors. And I will tell you that it does support 1080p on two of these outputs and 4K on two of them maxing out at 30 frames per second. Now there's no other settings here except for a power cord input. And over here we do have a USB charger so we can actually plug everything in. Now I'm going to grab two monitors and show you the difference between a splitter and an extender. Let's get into it. So I just plugged in two monitors. This one is 4K and that one over there is 1080p. And I'm going to show you what it looks like whenever you connect it to a splitter. Now keep in mind, I am going to be using this 16 inch MacBook Pro because it has an HDMI input. So the first thing we're going to do is just take the back of this and we're going to plug input. And this is going to go over to the Mac, as you can see right there. Now, if we go over here, we have output number one. We'll run it over to the 4K monitor. And then we have output number two. And this is going to run over to the 1080p monitor. Now, keep in mind, if you have two other monitors or TV displays, this is going to allow you to basically connect up to uh, four devices total. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the power supply. And on the side of Mac, we have this HDMI output right there. We're just going to plug that in. So this kind of gives you an idea how everything is all set up. And one thing I want to point out here, you can see the indicators that's showing that we have the input and I need to turn on the 4K monitor, but there's the outputs that's lining up right there. All right, so now I have the 4K monitor plugged in. You see output one and two is already lit. And if you look at the monitor here, you can see where it's asking the Mac to choose what type of extended display. With the HDMI splitter plugged in, you can see that all these monitors are now displaying the exact same signal. But there's a problem with this. They're going to lower the resolution to whatever the lowest resolution monitor is. So that means this is 1080p. It's going to take my MacBook Pro here and lower it down to 1080p as well as this 4K monitor. And chances are you don't want that. But the great thing is if you need to extend monitors out with the exact same signal, it works perfect. In fact, one thing I like about this particular one is that you can add four monitors on it. So just imagine you have multiple displays or multiple video games. This is going to allow you to have the same signal on all those particular monitors. Now we're going to try out the split extender and this is where things get very interesting. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the 4K monitor right here. It says 4K and then we're going to plug the 1080 monitor in here where it says 1080p. Now we're going to go ahead and plug this into the computer, but keep in mind it does support the older USB 3, but we're going to use USB C and plug it right here into the Mac. In order to get this adapter work, you need to download drivers and this is going to allow it to do multiple screens. From the Mac, we're going to take the silicone motion and we're going to drop it into our application folder and go ahead and go through all the permissions on the computer. And now we have the instant view all set up. 
But here's what we need to do. We need to go check the settings and see how everything is configured. Now, one thing you can see here is now it's showing all the monitors as been separate displays. And the great thing is each monitor has their own resolution with everything all set up. Everyone doesn't have an Apple computer. So what I want to do is show you what it looks like on Windows. And right now I have the splitter extend plugged into the computer, but I haven't downloaded the software. So what it's going to do is give you all the same resolution on all the screens, just like the HDMI splitter. So let's go install the software so we can configure each monitor separately. So I want to do is show you guys the website. So if we go over here to O-Ray and then we click on download, down here is where all the drivers are. So when we click on that, we're gonna go over to a Microsoft online drive account. This is where I found the Mac software. If we go over here, you can see the Windows 10 and 11 software. We're gonna go ahead and download this file. Once you download this file for the PC, then we need to go ahead and run it so we can then configure all the screens separately. Now I can go into the settings and click on duplicate and extend monitors. And it will show three monitors right here, but right now they're all the same duplicate. So what we're gonna do is go over here and then we wanna extend one, two, three. Now we have everything extended. You have to identify each monitor. So if you press on number one, It'll show one, this one says two, and this one over here shows three right now. So I want to do is rearrange these the way I want them. So I'll put two over here and then put three on this side. And again, you can adjust it how you want it. But the thing that I want to show you here is if we look at the resolution, you can see this monitor now says 4K and that's monitor number three. If you press on monitor number one, it's showing 1080p, which is this screen, which is a 1920 by 1080 screen. All these monitors now have their own resolution and you can go in here and tweak out the different color profiles and all that stuff if you like. One cool thing about this setup, I could have a game plan on this monitor. I can do some work or productivity on this monitor and I can have a video plan on this monitor. There's one caveat to this, depends on the power of your laptop or computer, you may get a little bit of lag. Since this is just a i3 with a basic uh, eight gigs of RAM, this one is lagging, but when you put it on something powerful like the Mac I had on here earlier, you'll have no problems whatsoever getting a good performance out of all the monitors. And just so you know, when it comes to the splitter, they do make one that does the four, like I showed you on this video. But if you don't need that many displays, they also have a smaller one that supports two displays. And it has a similar setup where you have a power input as well as your HDMI input. And on the back of it, it does have two HDMI outputs. And this will be the same scenario with the HDMI quad adapter. They also have one that can support only two displays. And it literally has the same design with the USB-C and it does have two HDMI outputs. And again, this one would require the software as well. By watching this video, you should have a clear understanding what a splitter is and what a extender is. In my opinion, it all depends on your particular setup. But if you're a stockbroker or someone who uses computers a lot and you only have one output, this is a great solution for you. But if you're a gamer, I wouldn't recommend it in some cases just because of the limitation of the extender because you're only going to get up to 30 frames per second. Now keep in mind, you can still use the USBs or the built-in HDMI output if you have a powerful laptop or PC. And this is going to give you the full capabilities of that particular video card. So you don't have to use the extender for everything. But that's all I have on this video. If you guys are interested, I'll leave all the links in the description below. I'm Tech Steve. Thanks all for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.